This is the Port Prim Lighthouse, just uh, just outside of Digby, up a road, up a hill. There's an amazing rainbow when I got there. I picked just the right time. It's sprinkling rain a tiny bit with the sun blazing through and a kitty playing under the picnic table. Yeah, the picture here doesn't do it justice. There was so many colors in that. It was amazing. Yeah, the shoreline here is so battered and broken, and the kitty just loved playing around on the rocks. I let her have lots of freedom, and she's pretty careful about being at that edge. I'd hate to have to jump in after her. That's a pretty long fall. I don't know if I'd be able to stop myself. <laughs> but she's careful. She just loves anything that's like a cave. There were so many spots out here at the point that she just crawled in there and turned into a little tiger. You can see the brain going, the old natural instincts. And she's so good at picking a trail too. When I think how rough the ground is out there, and every step I take, she needs to take ten, but she picks a perfect trail over the broken, cracked, and jagged rocks. And then when she finds a little cave, we hang out there for a little while, because some of them, I don't know if I could even get her out if I wanted to, but if she gets in somewhere, she's... Got to be able to get herself out, too. And a couple of times I just had to be patient because there was no reaching her. She's in there doing tiger things. Gets the crazy eyes darting around. And it's the strangest thing. I I never hear her meow when we're just hanging out together. I don't know if she learned how to meow at people to get them to do things. She's went so wild so young but then when we're out exploring places like this and she gets in like hunting mode kind of she lets out little chirps they're almost a meow but not quite it almost sounds like she's making little hunting noises it's cool <laughs> she's a wild little cat I love getting her out to places like this. It tires her out some so she doesn't attack my feet so bad at night. When I tire her out good with a good walk, she gets back to the camper and eats a bunch and then goes right to nap. And, and she gets me out more too because I feel a responsibility to let her get out and see the world outside of the truck. So... She kind of gets me out there to see things. The tide pools out here are so cool. It takes a really big wave to splash water up that high, so it's all mixed with rainwater and strange amounts that I guess the shellfish just love. Yeah, she acts, acts like a little tiger when she finds a cave. It's so awesome.